Oh. Wow, it's been like a week since I posted a video. I'm sorry about that. I just had things and stuff to do. Um, been doing lots of things and stuff. So today we have actually a very exciting video. We have an unboxing. We have a Tom Patterson unboxing with some adult female jumping spiders. It's been a pretty long time since we've done a jumping spider unboxing. I unboxed quite a few last year and I still have three adult female Phidippus regius, one male adult Phidippus regius, and then I have a couple other females of different species of jumping spiders and then like a ton of Phidippus regius babies. I unfortunately have lost a few adult females as is expected. But yeah, we still have pumpkin, chestnut, and sugar, so they are all doing fine. But yeah, so I got more females, but that is not all I got. Um, I actually also decided to get a centipede, and we'll talk a little bit more about the centipede and the species and all of that after we take care of all the jumping spiders. So yeah, let's just get right into it. But before we do, thank you so much, Tom, for the spiders. This is not sponsored, but he, you know, he's, he's a homie. Here is his email if you ever want to hit him up for a list of spiders he has for sale. Thank you, Tom. So let's get into it. Okay. Wow, very cool. <laughs> Aww, you sent me the last roach keychain you had. Check it out. All right, back to business, okay. So I already put together jumping spider enclosures because I just wanted to save some time on this. There's a lot to unbox and I did want to really focus on the centipedes at the end. So I went ahead and made their enclosures. If you're kind of clueless on how to make jumping spider enclosures, I have previous jumping spider unboxings you can watch. But yeah, since I already made their enclosures, we are just going to open and put them in. I like this enclosure. I put these little seed pods in it and just a lot of cool stuff. Take a look. Ooh, what a cutie. Oh my God, I love this one. Black and white, I love this color. It's just like a black and white with a little bit of like, almost like this rose gold color. She is so gorgeous. She has pink. I don't know if you can see the pink. There you go, you can kind of see the pink. But yeah, all right, well, let's let her go. Hi. Oh, <laughs> she jumped right into this little seed pod. I think that's a nice little place to hide. And I put one up here too. Definitely starting off really strong. We probably unboxed one of the cutest jumping spiders I've ever seen. Good start, good start. Let's keep going because we got a few more of them to unbox. Looks like we've got another Phidippus regius female, of course. Hmm. Ooh. This one's upside down. We will do this enclosure. This is actually the clear back one. I don't think I've used the clear back one yet. But yeah, if you wanna try tarantula cribs, remember I am an affiliate. I have a code, CAT10, saves you 10% and it helps me out, so yeah. Hello, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's a little black one. Oh, oh, there she is. Hi, I know. Okay, you look like you're gonna jump. Okay, well, <laughs> she just jumped right into her enclosure. There we go, there's a nice close-up of her. Oh wow, she is so pretty. Another jumping spider, Phidippus regius. Anybody home? Oh, it's an orange one. Oh wow, I love the orange ones. This one looks kind of like pumpkin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh shit, you guys, <sighs> sorry about that. This one's very jumpy, so there we go. Now we get a better look. I can't pick a favorite, like they are all so pretty. And now I'm all webbed up. I like feel webs all over me. <laughs> So we have one more jumping spider left. This enclosure is super cute. It has like a crystal and a walnut hide and then this really cool like tube of cork bark. This 
one looks like it pooped. There we go. Oh, she's so white and fluffy. Look at her little face. Aww. I always have a special place for the white and gray ones just because they always remind me of Chai, especially with the pink right there. So cute. Oh, and it looks like she has a little bit of orange on her. Oh, I remember Tom sent me a picture of this one. He said this one is missing a leg and asked me if I wanted it. And I said, of course. And it's funny because Chai was also missing a leg. I don't know how she lost it. She didn't come like that. It kind of reminds me of Chai meets pumpkin and then it's missing the little leg. Oh my goodness. What a cutie. Let's go ahead and see if she wants... Oh, right into it. <laughs> there she is. I hope she actually uses that walnut hide. I haven't had one use the walnut hides yet and it's driving me crazy. All right, so now we are to the centipede part of the video and I am realizing that maybe I overestimated their size. So this is a species of centipede called the Oteosigmus species Cameroon violet coloration. They are adorable very purpley centipedes. They do not get large. They get about two and a half to three inches as adults. Now, even though Tom told me that, I purchased huge bins that are just not gonna work for these. <laughs> like, these are so much smaller than I thought. I haven't actually looked at them yet, but I was peeking in with my light here, and I don't know how well you can see. Right here is one. I don't know, let me think. Okay, so I went and I got some more enclosures that we can use for the centipedes. I actually ran to Target and I found these perfect little food storage containers. They're like a really nice, thick, hard, I guess this is plastic. I don't think it's acrylic. Maybe it's acrylic. I don't know. And I ended up making my own ventilation just because they're so much smaller than I was expecting. So let's go ahead and finally get into the centipede rehousing. So we are just gonna be using Reptis soil mostly. I am gonna mix in some of that Exoterra sand rock stuff. I really like that consistency. <laughs> And the reason why I got these so tall is so that the centipedes, like they cannot climb at all. They're like scorpions. Like you know how when you put a scorpion in the enclosure, it can't climb up straight on the smooth plastic. Um, centipedes are the same way, but centipedes are kind of long sometimes. Um, so that's why if you're paranoid about them escaping, this is like the perfect enclosure for you because it's gonna be taller and you don't have to worry about it. So here's this stuff. It is quickly becoming one of my favorite staples to use just to mix a little in with substrate. Somebody called me out and said that I was using sand for texture like Peko does. And you know, that wasn't intentional, but it is kind of funny. I guess I, I guess I did kind of steal that from him. So sorry, Dorkden, I stole your recipe. It is what it is though. Very cool. That's a nice little consistency. We'll clean up the sides uh, once we get to that point. So when I went to get these, they're just such nice little display enclosures. You know, I, I want them out here. I want them to be presentable. I want them to look nice. I feel like when people are afraid of a tarantula or something, if you make their enclosure really nice, it's less intimidating because they're gonna admire like the plants and the other cool stuff going on in the enclosure. So that's what I, that's my theory. Um, but I found these like perfect little purple plants. We have two different kinds. I'm not sure of what kind they are or their care or if they're going to survive, but if you know, like, please comment down below. I love your guys' suggestions um, and info, especially when it comes to plants. So um, I got purple ones because the centipedes are both like a purpley color. I just thought it would be cute. So, oh, oh no. Oh, it's okay. All the roots are up here. <laughs> we are just going to bury that right there. Perfect. Maybe just like one little piece like this. And of course we're gonna put some leaf litter in there too, which will be some really great coverage for it. Some little water bowls that I'm gonna put in. They're just uh, the lids from some water bottles that work out pretty nicely for slings and little animals like this. And since these little cups have a bunch of like moss in it, I will just probably dump them and the moss into the enclosures. So I'm not gonna add any extra moss. What the heck? This one has like a bunch of roots. I hope these plants live because they're so pretty. Got this little seed pod. I love these things. Put it maybe, and then I have a little piece of cork. 
put it right here. Water bottle cap. Not bad. Let's get to the exciting part. I don't know what to expect. I've never had a centipede before. I'm a little nervous. I'm not somebody that has like a phobia of centipedes or anything. Oh, I think I see it. Oh my God, it's so cool. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's very purpley. Never particularly like really thought I'd get a centipede, but I don't know. They just seemed interesting and Tom had them, so. I said, sure, I'll take some centipedes. <laughs> he didn't have to talk them up too much. Pretty cool. That was kind of a close up. But yeah, I think this enclosure will work out really nice. It's actually kind of big for it, so. Come on. There you go. And gone. Well, not quite, but yeah, it's probably gonna be hiding a lot. I don't know how often we'll see these things, but I don't know, kind of cool. Look at its little butt. This is such a cute little enclosure and it's just like the perfect size for it. I think it'll have like so much to do in there. Oh, I see it right there. I hope that it walks around a lot. Oh my God, it's so cool, you guys. It's like out walking around, like exploring and oh my God, I like it. Oh no, <laughs> I like it more than I thought I was gonna like it, which is very dangerous for me because I cannot casually just like something. It's drinking little water droplets off the side of the tank. Oh my God, it's so cute, stop. Why? You're a centipede, you're not supposed to be cute. Wow, spooky. See its little antennas wiggling around? What are you gonna do? Carefully pull this one out also. More moss. Decorate with moss. Oh my God. Oh, don't run up the tongs. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I did get scared. I got scared for a second. This one's bigger. This one's definitely bigger and seems a little more scary. It came oh, it got further up than I thought it could. <laughs> these things are so cool. Oh my God, I'm so happy that we got these and I wanna make more content about centipedes now. Um, I really like them a lot more than I was expecting actually. I actually don't find these very creepy at all. I think their speed is a little intimidating, but I don't think they're creepy. I think they're actually pretty freaking cute. They're like little worms, but... They're spicy worms. But yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at the cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.